Except for the crowds and the gowns and the jewelry, on a certain level, royal weddings over the years are like many others. I am Elizabeth Annis Louise. I, Sarah Margaret. I, Charles Philip Arthur George. But royal weddings are different in one special way. They all claim to be good business, or so we're told. There's a huge opportunity um, in London that comes from hosting such a, an event as the Royal Wedding. In fact, if we have the same number of visitors who came to the wedding of Charles and Diana in 1981, which was around 600,000 people, we could have an economic benefit to the capital of around 30 to 50 million pounds. That's about $80 million spent by all the people who come to eat, sleep and make merry in one of the world's most expensive cities. A day, $100, $150 or more. About $1,000 a day. You can't go to a hotel and everything. Probably about that. And that's before buying all the mugs, plates, dish towels, bags, cushions, stamps, pillows, playing cards, champagne glasses and biscuits, which they'll send anywhere in the world. And beware of those made-in-China mugs which suffer from brotherly confusion. That's Prince Harry, not William, next to Kate. But all this pomp is expensive. The royals, known as the firm because they are a business, receive a government grant of about $13 million a year to cover expenses. But the public cost of this wedding far exceeds that. Extra policing and overtime alone is estimated at more than $35 million. And there's another cost. When all these people are here, they're not working. And because the royal wedding holiday falls between two long holiday weekends, you can actually take 11 days off and only burn three days of vacation time. Economists have actually done the math. Invariably, that leads to a loss of output. So in terms of the impact on, on GDP in the economy, um, we're suggesting that actually it could knock off something like a quarter of a percent off growth which translates into a potential loss to the economy of about 50 billion, with a B, dollars. It better be a heck of a party. Mark Phillips, CBS News, London.